Hello. Hi, Sergio. Hi, <laughs> oh, guys. How's it going? Hey, guys, I'm wearing green this year. It's gnarly. It's so gnarly. <laughs> we can have Martin lead us off. Hey, Sergio, how's it going? What's up, Martin? Hey, doing good. Um, first off, uh, how does it feel just to be playing, uh, getting a chance to play back in the Bay Area again after all those years with the Giants? And um, what have been your first impressions just here in camp early on uh, of your new team? Uh, well, first off, you know, uh, I, you know, thank the, you know, the A's front office for, you know, for giving me a call, you know, uh, for believing that uh, I could still do this, you know, believe in what I believe, you know, and the fact that I can still compete at this level. Uh, the fact that uh, I, I get to stay at home, you know, I've made a home in the city in San Francisco for, uh, you know, over the years, you know, uh, blessed with the time with the Giants and the, and the, and the uh, you know, the, the, the things that we were able to accomplish there. Uh, it was, it's easy for me to make a home in the city. Uh, so being back in the Bay, it, it's, a, it's a blessing. Uh, my lady too, uh, my wife, she's, she's, you know, she's 35 weeks pregnant, you know, and, and with our fifth. So it's, 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 it's very fitting and uh, ideal for my, uh, for me at this point in my career and what's going on with my family. Uh, but uh, being here, I, it, it brings a, a, a different excitement, uh, a, a different, a different atmosphere, different style of play, uh, a style of play that matches my own. I feel uh, very aggressive uh very under underdog like uh atmosphere but gritty grindy dirty uh let, let's let's go get that dub one you know any way we can um and that that's 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 what i i i i like and i've admired from afar about the open uh you know open a's organization their style of play melvin even when his uh Di diamondback days away you know he ran his his team then too was very similar to this uh so uh having guys like chapman uh loriano uh, Piscotti, uh, even Andrews, so uh, play, you know, playing against him for so playing against these guys for so many years now being on their side, Olsen, you know, even the youngster, uh, Murphy, like being able to, you know, throw to him, uh, that, that it, it's exciting. You know, it's very promising, uh, being able to be around the younger guys too, uh, Trevino, uh, Wilkinson, uh, uh, JB, uh, <laughs> can't still messing up his last name, my bad, uh, JB, uh, being guy around guys like uh, Dalton, uh, had conversations with him already. Uh, Blackburn already, like guys like that. Like I've already had conversations with these guys, and uh, it, I, I feel that I fit in. Uh, atmosphere, energy, uh, personality. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have to change a, a, a thing here, and that's uh, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome feeling. <laughs> and what's it like being reunited with uh, Petit after your history together in San Francisco? <laughs> Uh, what was great was seeing him uh, day before yesterday for the first time. Uh, I mean, I, we'd cross paths, you know, uh, playing against each other throughout the seasons. Uh, but uh, seeing him, it, picking up exactly where we left off, uh, our, our wives know each other, our, our families know each other. So we've gotten along, you know, we get along already really well. Uh, but the, the, the initial hug, seeing him, uh, it's, 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 it's rather fulfilling, you know, uh, just for the fact that there's, there's people out there that care about you, you know, those, those relationships for me are, are, are extreme blessings that, uh, that we get in this game that, uh, you know, being able to be around for so long and the relationships that we build it, those are, for me, those are things that I'll, you know, everlasting. So, uh, being able to be with Petit, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a spark. It really is. Manolo. Hola, Sergio, ¿cómo estás? Hola, Manolo. Estamos juntos otra vez. ¿Cómo estamos? <laughs> sí, hermano. El, uh, eh, eh, Sergio, it seems like it was yesterday when uh, he came up to the, uh, with the Giants in 2008. You came into that game in Dodger Stadium. You faced Manny Ramirez and you struck him out and, you know, you started your career from there. 29 <laughs> games that year with the Giants. What are some of the things, my friend, that has kept you motivated of, over all of those years to continue in this business? Um... I think the uh, the how do I say this? I think that being a father uh, and being a, a, a somewhat of a image for my kids, a positive image for my kids, uh, that their you know their dad is able to do something special, do something unique, do something that not very many people in the whole world can do, you know, and uh, and been blessed to be able to do it for so long. Uh, but to be able to do it in my own way. So what's motivating for me is the fact that uh, I still get to compete against 
you know, those, the best of the best, you know, considered the best of the best. And I could still be here. I could still, uh, uh, you know, go toe to toe with these guys and, and, and not be overwhelmed, you know, and, and not be, and not feel overwhelmed and not feel that I'm out of place. Uh, in other words, this gives me a place. This, this makes me feel complete. This makes me feel, uh, whole, you know, in, in regards to having a spot, you know, having a place, being real, being visible, uh, I just want to compete and win. And that's, 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 that's really it's really why I keep playing, winning and winning my days, being myself. Yeah, yeah you just uh, talk about uh, Jusmeiro, a, a, a great friend of yours. Uh, another great friend of yours had a tremendous slider as well. He was a lefty, uh, Javier Lopez. I wonder, you know, uh, you guys used to talk a lot about those sliders. He threw in one from the left side, you're from the right side. And can you talk a little bit about some of the things you might have learned from him? To perfect your own slider oh um yeah uh i mean that's one of the uh that's one of the greatest things that happened to me in my career i feel was in 2010 when the giants traded for javier lopez uh he's the first guy to really put his arm around me and big brother me you know and you know and call me the knucklehead when i needed when i was being a knucklehead and straighten me out when i needed to be straightened out uh told me the truth straight up you know uh, but when it comes to pitching and stuff, you know, yeah, watching him pitch and the way he would set up his stuff, you know, him and I were similar in regards to our repertoires with, you know, sinker slider, you know, predominantly and uh, just the way he would set up his guys, you know, set up the hitters and stuff uh, going into, you know, pitching in to go away or pitching in a way to go in, uh, pitching up to go down, that type of stuff. Uh, when and where to throw the breaking ball, uh, situations in which to manipulate the breaking ball, you know, which one to pick, you know, he helped me differentiate uh, between my breaking balls, the short, hard one, the big loopy one, the one that goes down. Um, then put the idea in my head, him and Mark Garner kind of put the idea in my head that I can do it on both sides of the play. And then I, that's kind of what I've been doing for the last few years. So, uh, very, 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 very uh, impactful uh, person in my career. And uh, being with, you know, Yusmeto too, we kind of had that conversation today too. We we're talking uh, about a younger guy earlier today. And it, it was that aspect, watching him throw his bull, uh, younger guy throw a bullpen and uh, tell him, okay, cool, hey, right there, he got around it a little bit too much or he got it behind it so much or maybe got under it. You know, certain things like that, you know, talking mechanics and, 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 and just watching how these guys move and stuff, you know, maybe being able to help them maybe manipulate the ball later on and figure out a little bit more how to be consistent. So uh, it's, it's really cool. The veterans have been around, you know, the knowledge that it's, it's, it's uh, kind of been presented to me. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, one other thing, you know, the, well, this year, uh, the, uh, the Olympics, of course, the Olympics are in the very middle of the uh, 2021 uh, season. Some veterans, uh, well, Adrian Gonzalez is going to play, but he's not in the majors right now. But there are a lot of young, young, young players that are in uh, organizations that are willing to play in the Olympics. Is this one of the, the dream of yours that someday pitch for Mexico in the Olympics? And uh, some people there in the Federation have approached you, even knowing that you have a contract to pitch this year in the majors? Um, yeah, uh, before I had agreed, uh, you know, for this season, uh, to play here with Oakland, I uh, I had been in contact with the uh, the baseball federation of Mexico and uh, to to be put on the preliminary rosters just in case you know I would be uh, available or able to play. Um, but that yeah, that was a dream. That is that is one of the boxes that I have yet to check in baseball uh, that were part of my childhood dreams. Uh, there's two things. Um, one would be to play for Mexico in the Olympics, uh, and the other one was to be a champion of the Serie Caribe. Uh, which is, you know, winter ball, uh, Caribbean series. Uh, I'd like to be a champion there for Mexico. That, that'd be, that was, that was something I've been wanting since I was a little kid. Uh, I think that'd be a great experience, you know, for anybody just to play in the Olympics in general. Uh, if Adrian gets to do that, that's awesome for him. Uh, there's a lot of young guys uh, in Mexico that are, are, are really coming up through the system, the minor system, a few guys on the 40 man rosters that won't get that opportunity. But uh, I do feel that it's something that should, you know, it, you know, take that opportunity if you got it. That's I'd do it if I could. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, my friend. Have a great season. Gracias. Shana. Hey, Sergio. How are you? <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to, to follow up on the, the slider question. Um, 
wanted to know what has been the key for you to keeping it up and having it miss bats the way that it has been over the last few years, the way you've, you've learned uh, on your other stops after the Giants. <laughs> I, uh, the, my grandpa is the one, first and foremost, my grandpa and my dad were the ones that taught me my breaking ball. Uh, they taught me my grip and, uh, how, you know, the wrist actions and whatnot and how to, you know, how to throw it from the get-go, right? Uh, Mark Garner was the one, him and Javi were, you know, ones that put it in my head to help, you know, to manipulate it. That I was manipulating the ball without really knowing it my first year, year and a half in the big leagues. I, I, I you know, it would tell me, hey, throw that short, hard one right here. And I'm like, oh, you know, okay, yeah. And then, okay, well, how do I throw it short? And I'm starting thinking to myself, you know, uh, but it's trial and error, you know. Uh, I, I practice a lot of what I do on the mound. It starts off on the line when I'm playing catch. You know, predominantly when I when I start playing catch, I'm, I'm I'm playing catch to get loose. But when I'm coming in, I do throw a flat ground, and I'm working on mechanics. I'm working on feel, different grips, just you know, different finger pressures and placement on the ball. It's just trying to see the different wrist actions. Just trying to see the, you know, the uh, effect that it has on the on the ball that I throw. Just to see what it does, and that's how I've learned throughout the years and how to manipulate it and how to differentiate between you know my uh, the breaking balls. That although I do throw, it's consider just a slider I do throw multiple variations of it you know so you could sit slider but at this point in my career it's which one you know um and I think being able to throw it on both sides of the plate being able to utilize my fastball uh my sinker as well as I have the last couple of seasons uh I think has helped me uh, with the breaking ball too to keep them off of it as much uh so um I would venture to say it, it's it's just still twerking it, tweaking it, you know, uh, trying to refine it, uh, focusing on refining that uh, on both sides of the plate, being able to understand what I can and can do and when and when to do it. Steve? Sergio, how are you doing? Good to see you. Steve. Um, one, just so you can clarify, is your, are, are you still living in San Francisco? Is your family, have you been here since, even when you left the Giants, but you've all, you've all still been in the city? Yes, sir. Uh, I've lived in the season. I've spent every off season uh, for uh, in San Francisco since 2012. After we uh, we you know blessed with the second one, uh, it, again it's extremely easy to make a home in the city. Uh, I get treated extremely well. I still get told thank you for everything I've done and for what I was uh, able to be a part of. Uh, it's, 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 it's historical and not just for the game of baseball, but for you know for the city of San Francisco. So uh, it, it's it's a blessing that. Uh, uh, they still remember those days and they, and, and it still carries the weight that it does, uh, to get treated the way that we do my family and I. <laughs> so speaking of your family, if you just, you have four kids already, correct? If you can just yeah. name them and their ages. Yeah, yeah. Rylan, uh, he's 15 years old. That's my freshman in high school. Uh, Rex is nine. Uh, Reese is five. Mateo is two. And we have boy number five on his way coming. Uh, we're going to name him Lucas uh, in about a month or so when he gets here, God willing. And uh, how does your wife spell her first name? Melinda, M-E-L-I-N-D-A. Very good. I'm just going to, and then you, you referenced this a little bit earlier, but maybe I'll ask it in a different way. When you were with the Giants, I mean, everybody talks about the Giants-Dodgers rivalry. And that's, people kind of know that. The Giants A's rivalry is, is somewhat nebulous that people don't necessarily. <laughs> yeah. When you were with the Giants, how did you perceive the A's? Oh man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you know, uh that that it's it's honest. It's 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 very for me, it was very similar to the Dodgers rivalry. Uh it's rather ironic. I I, I mean I've I'm being blessed to be able to see both sides of each rivalry at this point. You know, I grew up rooting for the Dodgers and the sheer irony of your life. I get drafted by Giants and the successes that we had there. And, and then, uh, but now being, uh, being part of the, the Bay Bridge series, that was something that even, even the, uh, the exhibition, you know, the exhibition games before the season, like when I was still trying to, uh, establish myself and, and get an opportunity because I was like hey dude if I get the A's right here they're gonna remember this just like if I got the Dodgers in spring training like you know like and that's the way I took it you know uh, no knock on there was no disrespect you know again like I've, I've admired the style of play and 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 you get excited and motivated you know it's gonna be a dog fight why because of the style of play because of the characters and the pieces that they've they seem to be always have here you know and uh now that I'm a part of that yeah like do I want to go back and kind of you know take it to some of my old teammates, you know, that are still there. Some of my old friends like, yeah, why not? You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, again, I'm here to compete and I'm here to win, 
you know, I'm wearing green and gold this year and, and I'm going to wear it proudly. Uh, I, I have family members too. They're Oakland A's fans, you know, so from the beginning, they already had their Romo 54 jerseys, you know, or their Romo jerseys. And now they, they, they got real reason to wear it, you know, uh, 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 not a real reason to wear it, but because they already have one, but like, you know, like they have a more, a personal reason to wear it. And uh, it, it, for me, it, it, that's, that's, what I'm, I'm excited to be in the Bay, then that's part of it. You know, uh, I, not, I, I noticed too that uh, interleague plays against the NL West. Like, come on, like there's still guys that I faced when I was here too. Like, and then when I'd seen them wearing other jerseys, I thought, felt the same way. I'm going, all right, let's go. Like, we've been through this. Period. Like, I know it's going to be a grind. I know it's going to be a battle. Like, all right, cool. I'm going to win this fight today. Let's go. Like, you know what I mean? So like, it, it's, it's motivating being back and being part of something as special in, uh, to the Bay as, as, as this rivalry. Great. Thanks. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Chris? You're muted, Chris. I can't hear you. You're muted. No. Talk to me, Chris. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's muted. I don't know. Okay. I'll go to Vince and we can come back to you. Vince? <gasps> Come on, Chris. Sorry, Chris. Sorry to hear about that. Take your spot. There's Joe. Welcome to Oakland. Father of two daughters. So uh, five boys. That's something. Um, when Elvis Andrews was acquired in the deal, he, he had talked a little bit. You just touched on, you know, playing against the A's and, and his hope that, you know, the, the great fans and, and both bleachers would hang a banner, you know, in his honor. What will that be like? What, what's your What's your reaction to that? And then a, a true baseball question. How do you feel about the way this bullpen has come together? Certainly late with some of the signings, but the kind of bullpen you feel like the A's have right now. Uh, well, I, I, I'll be honest. I'm kind of with Elvis. You know, I, I'm hoping they put up a banner of some sort too, you know, when I come out and play, you know, that that's something too, that like coming in and visit as a visitor playing at the Coliseum, uh, the, the, the section in right field where they're playing songs for you and the drums and the, and the, uh, and the horns and the noises and all that good stuff, like the chants and stuff like, yeah, like I, I'm, I've already talked to my wife going, man, I wonder how, like what they're, what kind of chat are going to come up for me when I'm on the bump, you know what I mean? Like I'm excited for that. So yeah, I, I share the same, uh, same, uh, interest and excitement over that, uh, with Elvis. Uh, and then also, I mean, again, I want to win. Uh, being here, that that's 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 kind of the whole point uh, in, in wanting to be in an organization like this. They expect to win. Uh, the pieces here, although on paper they may not be the best team, whatever, or expected to projections, whatnot. Or, but this team has self-respect. These players, they respect themselves enough. And I've been watching it, you know, for a handful of days now to where uh, the intent uh, it, it is to win. The intent is to go out and, 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 you know, I mean, I guess in a sense, hockey terms, knock some teeth out, you know, uh, it, it's, and I want to be a part of that. I, I really, really do. Uh, being in the Bay again, it, it's fitting. It, everything about it, it's fitting. I just, I don't know what to say other than that, man. I, I want to win. I want to win and I want to do it right. I want to have fun. Uh, yeah, this is the place for me right now. Let's do it. Chris. Chris. Hulk. Chris. Chris. Killing me, Smalls. <laughs> He's killing me. I don't know. Maybe I muted. Did I push the mute button? No, I uh, can you hear me, Sergio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Um, um, I was trying to go back to the off season. You mentioned that the A's called you. Was that kind of where it went? And can you take him back to that phone call? Um, I ain't gonna lie. I uh, I did mention to my uh, agent at one point that hey, have the A's called? Have these guys called? And I did ask about other teams. Hey, have these guys called? Like why? And he's like. Is that like, is that what we're like? I'm like, yeah, like that. I'm interested. Like, I really want like that. I think I can do well there. I think I can fit in. I think I don't have to change it. Like certain things like, yeah, I, it's not like I had my choice exactly. Hey, of all 30 teams, you know what? I'm going to go there. And I had, you know, I had 30 offers of payment. No, but I did have multiple teams call. I did have teams that called and interested in me, like through the roof. 
I had interest in every team, of course, because I do want to win. I do want to play in big leagues. Uh, I do feel that I still could compete in the big leagues, but the opportunities to win wasn't with every, uh, you know, win now uh, wasn't necessarily with every organization that called me. And that's why I was asking about the A's because this organization has a chance to win. This, this, like, this team wants to win and expects to win. So it, I wanted to be a part of something like that. And again, the style of play, Melvin pulling the strings, like, you know, like, like telling us who, what, where, when, and why, like, like I, the way he go, he was gone about it throughout the years from what I've seen, like, I wanted, I want to be a part of that. I, I wanted to, 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 to feel that. And I feel that I could, I could strive under his management, you know, being around emo and the pitch coach, you know, being talking to him and stuff already. Like I, he, they already have an idea of who I am. They already have an idea of what I can do and where they feel they can utilize me and whatnot. They don't know exactly they haven't decided in which way, but they have ideas and those ideas are extremely intriguing to me. They sound fun and they really, really sound like I could come through with their, you know, with the expectations that they have for me. And a quick follow up. Uh, I noticed on Twitter, you're a big gamer. So what got involved with that? And I know you love uh, promote your Twitch channel, man. Uh, well, Twitch, Sergio Romo 54. I've been, uh, you know, just gaming every now and then. It's just one of those things, you know, to pass the time. It, it allows me to, you know, stay close to my kids also. Uh, that's something that I can spend time with them doing. Uh, but I've uh, got a little knack, you know, got a little knack for gaming, started streaming, you know, got some really good support. Uh, uh, play the show. Uh, I, I pitch against a pitch with myself, but uh, I have no mercy when I'm facing guys using my card. Um <laughs> taking myself deep a few times I ain't gonna lie um uh but uh, I play the show I play Warzone uh I I just like to play video games I'm a kid inside uh, I got a lot of energy uh kind of off the wall um definitely not the fly on the wall <laughs> but uh <laughs> I'll be bouncing off that wall here and there I, it's just a lot of energy got a lot of personality and I, I just want to share it I got a lot of happiness um and if I can play video games and people find that interesting then Hey, let's, let's spend some time together then. <laughs> Thanks, Sergio. All right, and Martin, final question. Yeah, Sergio, this is an important one from A's fans. Um, will you continue to use El Mechon as your oh, walkout? Okay. okay. So there's not too many in my my Mexican following, you know, my gente, my raza, they that don't get called Romo anymore. It's it's they don't call me Sergio, they don't call me Romo, they don't. No, I get called El Mechon, and in Mexico, it's Mechon, and uh, that's me. That's my song. That's the one that's going to come out. Uh, I'm, dude, they, 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 music bangs in the Coliseum, too, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I'm excited. I, that, that's one thing, too, that I've thought about, too. Uh, I'm excited for Mechon to, 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 you know, sound loud in that stadium. Uh, it's going to be fun. It really is. All right. Thank you, Sergio. Yay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Gracias, Sergio. Adelante. Thank you, man. You guys take care. Please be safe.